become something tomorrow. But the women of Kenya also need to occupy the highest office in the land. Staying on politics and Wiper party leader Kalonzo Musioka has been urged to go for the presidency without waiting for endorsement from any quarters. Machakos County Governor Wabenya Ndeti, County Woman Rep. Joyce Kamene, and Senator Agnes Kavindu called on the Wiper leader to now move across the country and popularize his 2027 presidential bid as the Ukambani region was firmly behind him. They were speaking at a funeral service at Yangala in Machakos. <laughs> Thank you, heart to the love of my life, my soul. On behalf of everybody, you can see he was just, he was loved, he was a good man. Any sana for the loss of your brother? Manzo, to uh, the support from uh, Roy and Nairobi Waipa team, and we also got support Jonathan Mweke, to the support from. Unajua, Sakara kona chika mingi sana. Akiku, akilala kazi yake ni kutoa wa Kenya ushuru. Na najua kwa nini unakemea mahakama. Kwa sababu mahakama imesema ile ushuru natoa wa Kenya nyumba it is unconstitutional. And I want to challenge the judiciary. I want to see the judge who will go against that ruling. Atatuambia kwa Kenya gani? Hii kiti ya president sio tafadhali. Tutakukudhea huko. Tutafanya nini? Tutafanya nini? Tutakukudhea huko. Tembea Kenya. Tembea Kenya toka ukambani. Tembea Kenya toka ukambani. Sisi hapa ukambani, don't even worry. <laughs> we are good. And we know ourselves. Mi mwenyewe nilienda kama senior council nikashirikiana na wengine wachanga na wengine middle level practitioners tukawa na president wa LSL Law Society of Kenya bwana Theuri kuna vijana wamejitokeza kulinda heshima na kulinda uhuru wa mahakama yetu because we cannot play with that arm of government Therefore, the matter of independence of our judiciary is not negotiable. Cannot even, in fact, I want to say, we put a stop to this thing. Kama executive nataka kuendelea kupike kelele, waendelee, but let the judicial arm of government continue working as Chief Justice Mother Komi Alisema Jan. Now, President William Ruto says his government